Please keep watching and I will show you how. All right guys, so first I'm gonna be priming my skin with my Kat Von D Locket Feather Weight Primer. I really like this because it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced primer and it's just very, very hydrating. So next I'm going to apply this Makeup Forever HD stick. I use the shade 127 and I just draw a few lines on my face and I like to blend this out with a damp beauty blender. I really love the coverage of this foundation and I just love the finish because it is very dewy on my skin and it overall just looks really, really nice. So for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this one a lot in my tutorials as well as every day. I love the coverage and I just blend this out with a damp beauty blender as well. And to set that, I like to use the MAC Pro Set Powder. And what I do is I just take the sponge, I dip it right in, and I apply a generous amount underneath my eyes as well as other areas of my face. And I just let this bake for a few minutes. And then I go in with a big fluffy brush and I dust away all the powder so it's nice and set for the entire day and there's no creasing at all. So to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna be taking this Urban Decay Foundation Powder and I'm just pressing this all around the areas that I didn't bake and this is going to set that entire area. So for brows, I'm gonna be using the IT Cosmetics Build a Brow in Dark Brown. This is just like a brow pomade. And first, I just like to start at the tail end of my brow and I concentrate the pomade on that side because I want the front to look more natural and I'm actually gonna go in with a brow powder in the front. So I'm just defining the tail end and I bring a little bit of it to the front, but I mostly leave it blank because what I do next is I go into my Anastasia Brow Kit and I use the shade Chocolate and I fill in the front like that. So first I'm going to prime my lids and then I'm going to jump into shadow. So next I'm going to set my entire lid with the MAC Pro Emphasize Powder and I'm just taking a little bit of this and applying it to the entire lid. So next I'm going to go into Carnival by Makeup Geek and I'm taking this on a BH Cosmetics blending brush and I'm keeping this on the outer V of my eye and bringing it inward but very, very slightly. I really want to keep this on the outer side because I'm going to go back in with a more intense color. So I'm just building up that shade Carnival and I'm also wrapping this underneath my eye as well, just not being super precise about it or anything. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Sephora eyeliner. This is one I use a lot in my tutorials. It's just called Purple Matte and I apply this to the outer portion of my lid. Then I'm gonna go in with Masquerade. This is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm just taking this on a flat brush and I'm just applying that to the outer section of my eye. And as you can see, it's very metallic because it is a foiled shadow, but it's just a a very intense foiled metallic looking purple. It's really, really pretty. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Viseart palette and this is the editorial palette. It's the one that's super, super bright. And I'm taking the purple shade and I'm just applying this to the outer V of my eye. And as you can tell, it just made it that much more intense. This is a matte shadow that I'm using. And next I'm going to apply the eyeliner underneath my eye as well, just to the halfway point. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process that I did before. I'm gonna go back in with the purple and I'm going to line that out and smoke out that lower lash line with the purple and also the Viseart shadow. So next, I'm gonna take this blue eyeliner by Sephora and I'm taking this on the inner corner of my eye and also bringing this onto the lid very, very slightly. I really wanted to keep this right into the inner corner for a nice pop of color and I thought that blue would look really unique and really different. So next, I'm gonna take Pegasus by Makeup Geek and I'm taking this on another fluffy brush that's a little smaller than the one I used before and I'm just spreading this around the inner corner of my eye and slightly overlapping it over that purple and this really blends very nicely with the purple so you don't need another shade to go in between the two you could just apply this right on and they melt together so beautifully that you really don't have to do much blending which is really nice so next I took MAC nylon and I applied this to my brow bone for that brow bone highlight and then I'm going to be applying the lashes by Coco in goddess and after that I just tight lined my eyes as usual with a black liner and for bronzer I'm using Laura Mercier number no. three bronzer I've been loving this bronzer so much it just has a really nice finish because it is a baked bronzer so next I'm gonna apply NARS Orgasm Blush and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks with a Morphe E4 brush. 
And then for highlight, I'm using the BH Wild and Radiant palette. And I'm taking that light gold shade and I'm applying this to my cheekbones as well as on my forehead and all the high points of my face so I can get a nice glow going. I like to bake the lower half of my face right underneath my blush and contour. And while that's baking, I'm just going to be applying some mascara to the lower lashes because I wanted this look to be super intense. And then after I do that, it's usually time to wipe off the powder. And as you can see, this really set the lower half of my face and it also just made my blush and my contour stand out a little bit more and it makes you look just super finished and everything just looks like it's in place. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using this lip liner by Tarte. This is in the shade Boho. It's a really nice nude. It goes with a lot of nude lipsticks. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bel Air. I love this color because it's the perfect nude for pretty much any look. Alright guys, that is it for this spring mermaid tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.